All right, guys, we are back for another, I almost just said Dokkan Battle video right there. All right, but anyway, we are playing some more Naruto Ninja Blazing, and I've only got two minutes left before this impact goes away for uh, two hours, I think. But I want to jump in. We're going to bring an Obito friend. Now, I thought it would be really cool to do this event basically with Obito on our side and also fighting Obito. In case you guys didn't know, this is the new impact, which I guess for now in Naruto Blazing are kind of like the, you know, the bosses, kind of the Dokkan events. I do wish they could kind of add like more like raids. Like, okay, so like the next big Blazing Fest unit that will come out is Sage Mode Hashirama, right? There should be a Sage Mode Hashirama boss fight, and you then get items to awaken Hashirama from beating that boss. I do actually like that kind of uh, mechanic, or, you know, just the way it works out, whatever. Uh, so here's the squad we're going to be bringing. This raid, or boss fight, whatever the fuck you want to call it, is actually very, very easy. Now, when I was playing uh, Blazing, you know, back in the day when I was first playing it... Uh, Impacts usually gave me a little bit of trouble, but I don't know if it's just because I have some pretty good skill units, obviously, in uh, Utakata and also the Tsunade, but I am able to absolutely just blitz the shit out of this. Uh, okay, so let's just quickly go over. So, the one big thing about this raid is there's basically a gravity attack that happens in the last stage. I'm not sure how many people watching this are maybe not fans of like old school rpgs like final fantasy and stuff such as that but in those old school games um like a gravity attack would take you down to like you know just a percentage of your health left and the boss of this fight does that uh once we get to map three he hits us with a gravity attack it's just a percentage based attack it can't kill us but it does you know basically take us down to like one percent of our health now there are several ways to counteract that. That's basically the big gimmick with this fight right here. And the easiest way I've found to counteract it, honestly, is just to have a healer in every slot. So that no matter how it works, uh, you'll be able to quickly heal up. And then the other body parts of this boss won't be able to take you down. Usually, uh, I bring a second Utakata as a friend. So my, basically, I'm running uh, Tsunade and then two Utakatas. And then the boss of this raid, it's the Tentails, by the way, gets absolutely just ass-blasted away. Uh, now, one thing that is pretty prevalent in uh, Naruto Blazing is something called stalling. Which we're going to do in a second here. Uh, so stalling would be like, okay, so we have just this one enemy on screen, right? So what we'll do is I'll kind of spread everyone out and I'll kind of heal up and get our chakra all the way up to max before I actually move on to the boss, which will help us, you know, be prepared. Now, I'm probably going to try and finish this man off with Tsunade. Uh, that way, when I actually move on to the Tentails, the first person that will be attacking is Utakata and then we'll have um, Obito. Uh, follow up with his ultimate jutsu now utakata of course transforms into the six tails when he does his ultimate uh obito actually uh summons the ten tails so we're gonna have the ten tails battling the ten tails um and it's actually a really cool jutsu because it hits the entire field which is really really awesome um here's the thing right tsunade has a counter-attack effect and I really would prefer her not to get that off quite yet. Uh, but it's still going to take a couple of hits to get this man down. Alright, so we're again, I want to have Tsunade finish this off. Uh, and this way, like when we go into this next phase, I guess... Yeah, I'll just hit him, whatever. If, if Okay, cool, perfect. Alright, so Tsunade should be able to finish him right here. Excellent. No crystal, god damn it. Right there, that Obito. You can actually fight Obito in both of the first two maps and both times he has a chance to drop his crystal now obviously right now i'm only running this with a character uh the sakura only has 80 luck obviously having 99 luck is the best now i do kind of hate the multiplayer in this game so when possible i don't run multiplayer i try and do these uh quests by myself uh 
the multiplayer would be really lit though like if i stream like i might actually do a stream of this raid before it goes away i was thinking about that uh all right so we'll have utakata go right there and we'll hit all three of the or two of these body parts down here plus the ten tails himself which is his eye uh next we're gonna have obito do this uh notice how it hits the entire field so i i love when obito you know comes out and says, taste despair motherfucker yeah i love that they t do take a lot of uh like cut scenes straight from uh storm four that's what that was taken from right there and same with uh utakata's as well so now what we're gonna try and do here is we just want to take care of these two spots up here you know what can i no i don't think i can yeah you can't get tsunade to actually uh hit that ability but we can go ahead and do this uh basically i just want to get rid of the these body parts we can have utaka to do that there we go now we're completely safe uh notice how the juby you know the ten tails right there has got his uh secret technique thing going on when that hits uh zero that's when he uses uh cataclysm and that will it's a you know a giant gravity attack well that actually didn't i thought that took that body part out but it did not um so let's do this fucking asshole jeez actually you know what i don't even i didn't even need to use utakata's jutsu right there that's okay okay so he's gonna do that now i should oh yeah we are fine yep fuck you Okay, so now he's going to go ahead and use the Cataclysm, which, of course, is a gravity attack here. Uh, that, of course, remember the Tentails did use that, and Karama was losing his shit. Like, Naruto, motherfucker, he's busting out the Cataclysm. You best be prepared for that shit. I do, I do actually really like that part. I was actually just watching that last night. Naruto is so good. Um, all right. So at this point... We can go ahead and just uh, wail on the ten tails as much as we can as we can and want. Now he can't really take us down from this point because we're using all skill types. He just doesn't do enough damage. So now at this point, it's just kind of a slow process of whittling him down. The one problem uh, that Wisdom Obito unit I brought, he is really good, right? But the one problem with him is the uh his chakra gauge what is it is he i think it's a seven yeah he's a seven and then his ultimate is at 16 chakra which is just way too much but if you manage to get dupes of him you can reduce his chakra gauge which helps out an awful lot a fully duped out obito is actually really really good but if you've got obito with no dupes ah nah fam that, that's just not gonna it's just not gonna cut it um, but Obito does serve his purpose in this fight for me. Basically, I you know I either bring Utakata or Obito. Almost no one runs that Obito, so I'm almost always usually running Utakata, and I basically just want them to help clear out the body parts. Like Obito, just you know uh, the whole screen clear right at the start of the fight really does help out a lot. Um, yeah, actually Utakata is going to be coming up on his ultimate jutsu in a second here which will be the finishing blow for the Ten Tails. So as you guys can see, even on S rank, this uh, raid, it's not really that tough. Actually, he's done, because we can have Utakata go ahead and finish this off. Bye! This should finish him off. I just said bye. Okay, I was going to say, I just said bye. You better, you better fucking go down. No drops. Suck my fucking cock, Ten Tails. Oh, bro, tell me I got nothing from that. A clean zip. Oh, oh, oh we got the, okay, okay. All right, we got the lucky drop, though. It's all good. We got the lucky drop. All right, cool. I don't know how... Okay, real quick, before we finish up. So, the reward for doing that fight is actually uh, the Ten Tails uh, Jinchuriki Obito here. Wait, we're by rarity. Let's go by level. Level is the easiest. All right, so yeah, we have the uh, Ten Tails Jinchuriki Obito here. Now, here's the thing, right? So, you want to get your characters, like, at least have one character at 99 luck, like, always leading your party to maximize your drops and stuff. And for the longest time, my only 99 luck character is this man up here, the trash man himself. Tobarama is not great, unfortunately. Uh, he is a very, 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 very old unit. 
if I had a max limit broken, he'd be better off. But he just is not really that helpful. Look at that 5.8 times multiplier. Yeah. So now uh, we have the Obito right here. This is obviously the one. I already have him up to 81 luck. Because when you beat it on S rank, of course, uh, the copy of the card drops with 5 luck. So I only have to beat it, what, uh, 3 more times. Very good. And I'll be done. Um, also, remember, he does drop the limit break crystals when you actually uh you know beat that stage i have a good amount uh right now i am actually like just so busy so swamped with so many things that i don't have time to really like you know max limit break him get all the crystals necessary i should i've got 11 right now i probably can get him to like level 125 ish right maybe that'll be fine that'll be fine uh, cause, well, no, actually, I might be able to get him up to 1, 130. That would be dope. If I could get him to 130, I'd be very, very satisfied with that. Uh, obviously a better, um, 99 luck character because his Jutsus are pretty good. You know, the 60% attacks reduction for three turns knocks him back. Only a five chakra cost. Very good. And then his ultimate, again, only a 10 chakra cost. 7.5 towards all enemies in range knocks him back. And can Jutsu seal? Like, this Obito is actually solid. And uh, he actually reduces the damage done by skill types, which is incredibly useful, you know, when you're doing a raid mission and you can get Ninja Pearls by, you know... Okay, so the uh, Obito is a blue type, a body, right? And he is weak to skill. So, you know, you would want to bring, you know, uh, body units that are, you know have as much as this as possible reduce damage taken by skill units because you're already at a disadvantage because when you go into a raid like that you get uh pearls like it's always a pearl objective to you know beat a heart event with an all skill team you know beat a body event with an all heart team you know they always give you pearls for doing it at that disadvantage so that obito is pretty pretty solid uh that will wrap it up for the obito juby raid uh, in terms of the next Naruto Blazing video, I will drop. I don't know what that is. I'm still doing my best to try and resist summoning for Minato here. And, bro, ladies and gentlemen, it is a struggle. This is just true sexiness. Every time this pops up on my screen, I just feel the need to summon. And it is a guaranteed banner. I think it would take 200 pearls. Or 230 pearls, I think. And I'd get a guaranteed copy of Minato. I might stream that, but I might pass it up. We will see.